this beautiful website can be yours in a matter of minutes you have a blog post on it you have everything on it and also if you go over the second one now they have 75 of these on richie team which you can use if you're a freelancer you are going to go into blogging fantastic you can use this and get started in building a website four things are involved so let me tell you in advance so that you will know and make the best of choices number one is you need a domain name that's the www something you chose you need to buy that you also need an hosting that is whatever you have written in your laptop which is like your blog or pictures that you have to put it online and allow that to be shown to others that is your hosting but then those things will not show up if you do not have a website theme now to have a theme most times for beautiful themes that are good you now need a pro theme but today I'll show you a theme that has the pro functionality but will be given to you for free. I'll show that to you. And then number four, you need a website builder. Something you use to build the website, make it functional and suitable for the eye to see. All of these four I just discussed, I'm going to teach you how to do everything right here, right now. But then I know this video is going to be a bit long. All you have to do is go to the description and you'll see the timestamp of this video. Let's go straight into things. First thing is you need to know how to pick your niche. Do not just go to buy a domain name without knowing the niche you have to go into. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I will be diving deeper into my agricultural base and I'm going to choose myfarmblog.com. That's what I'm going to choose. But first, I need to search if it's available online. And by the way, the link to how you're going to buy the domain, how you're going to buy your hosting, the link to how you're going to get your free theme, all of these I'm going to leave in the description below so you can as well click on that and get on the same path with me. Okay. So the very first thing you have to do is go to the link of the description below and then you're going to see, click here for name chip registration and the bonus for it. You click this link and it's going to open up for you to name chip so that you can buy your domain name. Now, I'd already chosen a domain name before now and mine is my farmblog.com. So I click on search to notice if it's available. That's how you are also going to do yours. And then it will tell me if it's available for purchase in .com. I recommend you do this on a .com. Okay. Just as you can see, it's saying I can get these for almost $9. Then I click add to cart. So I check out my cart just like that, just to purchase. And you can purchase these using your card, which is your ATM card. Or if you have PayPal, like me, you can use. All I have to do is log into my PayPal account. I click on login. Okay, I have some money there I can use. Let me go back to Namecheap. And as you can see, it's saying I can confirm my order. It added a bit of money to it just to make it a bit over nine dollars. Okay, the, so you can see it's saying domain registration. It should it auto renew? I said no. Also, you too should click no because at the end of the day, you want to monitor. This is free forever, so you can enable that. Premium DNS, don't worry about that. You was a teacher, you saw that out. All of these SSL and all, don't worry about that. There are free versions that are good as well and that's it so now it's in confirm order you can just go here to confirm order okay and now it's asking me to create an account if you don't have an account with namecheap you have to put your name password and all and create an account so you can purchase but for me i have an account already so let me just log in so it imported my details and then i have to fill the required parts so i can just fill that quickly then I hit on continue and now you have to leave the contact on just like that as well. You just have to fill your contact Now to continue. Just scroll down. It's going to pre-populate this with whatever information you filled earlier. And then from here, I can just click on continue as well. Okay, now here it's saying we should choose a secure payment. If you are using card, this is where you're going to put your card and everything. But if you are using PayPal, you scroll down a bit, you see PayPal. So I click on PayPal. Okay. Then I scroll down. It says automatically renew. I'm not checking these. It says domain registration. I'm not also checking that. To save it as my default payment, I'm not checking. Just to make sure you are safe. Because some other time, you can just stop renewing your stuff just like that. So just leave them empty. So now it's saying I should check out with these PayPal. So I click on check out. I already logged in. So it will be easy for me to complete. And then I hit on continue here. Order sent for processing two items. I just wait a bit. No refresh of this page. And voila, thank you for your purchase. I have purchased this. 
Now that's the first thing to do. The second thing to do straight away is to also go to the link in the description below and then you see the second one which is the blue host registration. If you click on that now to open on another image, it's going to bring you to the page where you're going to register for Bluehost. There's a little arc here I'm going to show to you. Just follow through. And just as you can see, it says host your site. Then I click on host because that's what you want to do. You want to host your site per month. Just click on host website. And as you can see, you have three, four options here that you can take. There is 12 months, 36 months, depending on what you want to do. If, you, if The more you go for the longer months, the cheaper it becomes okay and then you have the basic which is two dollar ninety five cent per month you have the plus which is five dollar forty five cents per month and then all of these if you are just starting out with just the website uh 50 gigabyte storage all of this is good for you as a beginner so don't spend a lot of money you can change these you can add more to it as you grow and all but, but for starters just start on this so i click on select for $2.95, which is the basic for one website. Here, as you can see, it's saying create a new domain. If you don't have one, we already bought a domain. So I'm just going to put that here. And that's it. Use a domain of your own. Then I create next. Please do not click on I'll create a domain later. These usually create a lot of problem because it's just going to create for you a domain that you will not be able to use it's going to give you a lot of problems to solve okay so i click on next and then you see you have to fill your name and everything let me just use the pre-populated mail and all but the most important part is this look at this it's saying basic for 12 months for these is this price 295 for one month that 5.40 this one is free times and then you see all the other packages added to it it makes the whole thing to be a total of $107. But ladies and gentlemen, the first thing is you don't need all these package extras. So uncheck them, uncheck them. It brings down your price because now they're supposed to be $84, but that is a 70% off. So now you get it at $35.40, right? Now from here, you just scroll down and then you input your credit card, you put your code, you just do all the other things you're supposed to do like that. And then I've read, you click on these, I've read just like that. I'm going to blow this side and finish up my registration. And then I'll click on submit. I'll see you on the other side. And voila, this is success. Next, let's create your account. Okay, so let's just do that in a few seconds. And then I click on create account. And from here, it's prompting me to create password and domain name. So I just blow that out. So I create my password and then I click on create account. And voila, I'm inside Bluehost account. So after that, we come back to our name chip because we have to connect our name chip with our Bluehost hosting. Okay, so I just click on manage and then it pops up into your account this way. And definitely from here, all you have to do from domain list is if you scroll down a bit, you would say name servers. On name servers, you need to change this away from here to point to Bluehost. That's how to do it. So you click on it, you can see custom DNS. If you click on the custom DNS, it will tell you name server one, name server one and two. And here all you have to do is use the name server for Bluehost. It's always ns1.bluehost.com. And then name server two will be ns2.bluehost.com. I'm sure you should see that on the screen. I'll leave it bigger. And then you see the tick here. After filling those two, you click on it. So to tell you, it will take 48 hours, but basically it doesn't take up to that. DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. It doesn't really take up to that. So now we have set our own domain name. We have pointed to the name server for Bluehost, so we can now go into our Bluehost to start our design of our blog. And by the way, we're going to use a free theme, which is so premium, and I'm going to show you everything today. Now, from inside the Bluehost, this is it. You log in to your WordPress. So I just open on another link so it can open on my WordPress. And this is how we now have to start building this new website. By the way, if you have to rank on Google, you will know that you need your website to be fast. The theme we're going to be using, which is what I recommend, is rishiteam.com. But then I will tell you how to do everything. The first thing I want to do, if you look here, you can see not secure, which means your website is not secure yet. 
then let's secure this if you move straight up to plugin add new to plugin click on add new the name of the plugin is really simple ssl so you can just type really simple ssl really simple ssl and then you can click on install now to install the plugin and then after it installs you click on activate to activate this plugin so that you would have this icon here that is the plus icon for example if i go to blues you can see this padlock icon that's what you should have on yours otherwise it's going to be saying your website is not secure nobody wants to go to a website that says not secure okay if that activates and it's up this way just like you can see you can see all this jackpot i can close this as well wp form i close that as well it's saying already ready to migrate to ssl now you have to install the ssl certificate i just click on that so that it will install so we just give it a minute to check out every other thing to make sure everything is complete and now that's complete you can see all of it and then i click save and continue and then you see all of this field is just telling you disable this disable that allow let's encrypt terms and condition you have to accept that and then that's pretty much it leave other things open and then save and continue and then it gets to the cpn just leave all of these as well save and continue and then the directories are here checking out uh, hosting and all of that as well then from there successfully verified save and continue so yeah, it's going to check for the terms and condition you accepted and all of that just as well we're going to save and continue okay very well so yeah as well we just scroll to it and then click save and continue and then here you can see just go ahead and activate all you need is the ssl don't worry about other things just click on activate ssl and then that's it ssl was already activated on your website so that's pretty much it let's refresh now immediately you can see it goes back to the lock icon so now i have to sign in again and that's it i'm back in and then from here we have one more thing to do to secure our website before we go in and create every other good designs go back to plugin click on add new and then you can type word fence and please put the word fence together if you leave a space by the side it's going to change it to something else word fence security and the first one here is the one you're going to click this particular word fence okay as you can see word fence security firewalls and malware scan it's comprehensive wordpress security against every blocking live traffic whatever it is so just install and after installation you click on activation smooth and then you have to put up one or two things here uh, for example you need to accept if you like to join the mailing community you can put up a no you have read these and then put your email here the one you want to use to receive all the information that comes from this in case you are under attack and then i go to continue and it's asking you the premium key you don't have to buy anything you can see the small no thanks here at the side just click on no thanks and then you can see what fence is working and then after the activation just scroll down to what fence you can see what fence security here if i go here you can see it on the other side of your left hand bottom you can see that and then i can go to dashboard so click on dashboard so you can complete and see everything inside your wordfence security and then just like that it's telling you this is your dashboard next next you don't need just close that and then you can see it might tell you to upgrade to premium but it's not necessary what you have here is good to protect you here but then the main thing i want you to do which is very important is do you want wordfence to stay up to date automatically yes let it stay up to date because that way it can scan immediately and then update itself if you are going waiting to do it manually it might take a long time and you might have been attacked before this happens and if i scroll up you can see to make your site as secure as possible take a moment to optimize the workspace app which you can do here just click here to configure and what you do is you download this https before you continue just download it it's just really nothing you're not going to use it basically but then click on that download and then you can click on continue it says nice work the firework is now optimized and then i can just close this as simple as that and then you can see here brute force protection is 100 percent that's all you have to do just save changes make sure you save changes very important don't just leave without doing that now it's time to design for example now if i over over this my fan blog which is on the top left and then go to my site let's see how the site looks 
you see it's not going to look nice like you want it to be look at how unkempt this is this is not what you want now to customize this for free most times you're supposed to buy the premium theme that should do this for you but if you go to rishiteam.com now you can see these you can get for free and the only way you get it for free is if you go to the description below and you scroll down you're going to see it here rishi team templates you're going to download this for free it will bring you up to this page where you can download for free how do you download and how do you put this on your website let me show it to you but before i do that let me show it to you why i'm recommending rishi themes look at this it's lightning fast rishi team is a fast as flash you can get 100 percent speed on your desktop i'm telling you this is incredible you can't get this on any free plugin except for richie theme and i'm telling you with all my years of experience it is integrated with all plugins you can use elementor on it you can use gutenberg you can use rank math woocommerce all of these beautiful plugins are for ranking and seo and you can use it on it easily and guess what they have a pre-built starter template you can build a website even if you are not a pro you don't need to do any programming nothing because all the websites are here let me show to you what this is all about i want you to understand why you should use richie theme and the beautiful thing is all these over 75 plus ready to import websites are already made look at them here you can preview let's just see one or two of them so that you would see how beautiful you can make your website with simple clicks from richie theme now let's download a richie theme and let's upload back to our website to our wordpress so we can get things going come to this page and then you are going to see download for richie it's free forever and then you don't have to put a credit card just click on that download any of the one other the one above or below and then it's going to bring you to this page sweet your purchase is complete and if you scroll down a bit you can see your license key you need to hold on to this is very important and then you see that the real download of these particular templates will be sent to your email so you go over to your email you see richie theme there and then you see richie 1.1 if you click on download you can notice it on the left side and then you see all other important things for richie okay now from here if you go back you can also see your sign up your password and your login for Rishi theme, you also have to keep this in mind because you're going to use it. Now we come back to our WordPress dashboard. And as you can see now, we go over to appearance. From appearance, you go to themes. It's important we give our WordPress a very nice design. Because we've downloaded the theme, the Rishi theme design, then we have to come back here. And then we have to click on upload. As you can see, there are some themes that are here that we cannot guarantee. I can give you the real result. So we click on upload to upload a Richie theme that we just downloaded. And just as you can see, it's saying upload theme. So I click on upload theme and you can see it's giving me the link to how, where I'm going to upload my file. So if I click on choose file and then I look for Richie that I just downloaded. And here you can see Richie 1.1. I just double click on that and it's upload even with the zip file. Then you click on install now. It's going to install Richie theme to your WordPress. And just as you can see, unpacking the package, installing the theme and all, all you have to do is activate. So I click on activate to activate Richie theme for this particular website. And there and then it says, thank you for installing Richie. We recommend you activate Richie Companion plugin. To get access to features like extensions, demo starter pack, and many other essential features. Okay, so to install Richie Companion, you have to do this as well the new theme is activated you can view your site so if i click on view site let's see how our site looks like now before we activate the companion which will let us activate our starter pack and then now you can see the difference it's look at what we had before look at what we have now now this is well arranged but that's not even where we're going we still have to add a companion so you see install richie companion if i click on install richie companion is installing you don't need to download it then it says richie companion active now you can go over to now make your own page and every other page is fantastic and just as you can see it's pre-populated itself and then it says home starter sites extensions useful plugins and change log this is incredible like i told you there's nothing close to what Richie brings to the table. That's why I want you to use this plugin to make your life easy and making your blog life more successful. So next, just click on starter sites and then you see all the other sites that is available, templates that you can use. It says install Richie starter templates. So I click on that 
to see the template and i'll choose the one i want very smooth and by the way there are pro versions as well if you want to buy the pro versions you can also get it here you can see the pros have the label of the pros but by and large if you are starting you can get enough value from the free but the pro versions you can see them having the pro 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 on it all you have to do is import i like the dark version so i click on import and just like that it pops it up for me to see what other templates are in because you can import the complete site just like this you can import complete site or you can import individual pages but then i rather import complete site than any other page i don't want i can just delete as we go on so i click on import complete site and then you can see if you have uh, maybe you have another website and you want to use this very fast theme then you can delete previous imported site but then i don't have anything on it is brand new so i just leave it this way and i click on import and then it's going to import in a few minutes and by the way it has also the capacity to import with all of these the plugins you need that support it so maybe elemental like we've not installed elemental because basically it can import all of these plugins and now you're going to use it now let me fast this forward so we can get to the end quickly and voila now you see it's fully imported and by the way i need to add that if you're importing this has to do with your network so if it doesn't go through the first time just try it again just to ensure you are good so it says i should view website if i click that on another tab i open that on another tab then we can see the website Volo. now you can see how it looks like the very first time we started it was this way when we imported first it was this way for the blogs but now that we've done the starter templates then we have this wonderful and as you can see here at the top end corner of everything you see your home you see your about services project testimonials and blog and then contact majorly this blog is the real deal because most of the templates and themes do not always have that blog side of things and people struggle with it and you see this blog is customized we can customize it more and as you can see this is more than i must tell you this particular sticky template on the headline is modern and then i'll show you how you can customize everything with your blog post and everything this is loaded just like this video if you like these and subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe so now to start editing we go back to plugin and then let's see all i start plugin first because we need to install the elemental plugin elemental is here i think rishi has already done that for us so very nice all we just have to do now is go over to our pages to customize our pages so if you go to all pages you can see pages here now we have to customize and if i scroll over you can see home page then you see edit with elementor that's what i want you to click with edit with elementor open it on another page because these pages we have to edit most of the pages to suit our purposes okay and please i want you to know that this has a very long list of a lot of things you can see I'm definitely sure you may not need everything, but I like the fact that Rishi had already inputted everything on here. This is our home page. This is the first landing page that everybody coming to your website is going to see. So it's not time to edit these and make sure it is what we want. For example, now let me show to you what you need to edit here. Now, on this home page, wherever you want to edit is simple. If I hover my mouse around, you can see some columns here on the edges. Here, there is another one on the edges. There is another box here. There are different boxes housing each of these structures. Okay, now let's go straight into the editing. For example, if I want to change this particular some moment express soulful emotions, if I hover around it, you can see the pencil sign at the edge. All I need to do is click on it and then it will open up on the tool side on the left hand side this is the canva where we can see what we are doing so for me to edit this all i have to do is remove it and type whatever i wish to type so i type everything organic that's what i want and then to edit the other part as well all i have to do is click on the pencil button and as soon as i click on that just like the first time you can see telling stories through images and all so feeding the nation i'm just typing this so that we'll move quickly so fill it up by what you want okay and then here you can see get started it's the same process if i click on the edit button which is this small pencil button you can see the get started here and then there is a link to it if you have a form or anything you want them to get started with 
that's what you're going to put here and then that's the link you are going to put here so let me just say i want to refer people to this store and that's my farm i'm just using that as an example i come back here and then i put the link to that particular product i put it here and then i put the link of the particular product i put it here and then there is this link option here this settings button if i click on that you can see it says open in a new window you have to tick this so whoever clicks this it opens up on another window without them leaving your website altogether okay and then you also have watch video if you have a youtube channel or you there is a video on facebook or anything all you just have to do is click on it and you can see the watch video here and then you put the link as well the same thing and if you want to change this word you can change the watch video maybe you want to put it as more info so you can just put more info and it will still be the same thing all you have to do is link out to whatever pages that this more info is then you link it out and you leave it here i hope that's fair enough now as a beginner i don't want you to really mess up with a lot of things because there are still more things you can do on each of these for example you can see the size here is small you can do extra small it becomes smaller you can do large like that you can do extra large sometimes you might have to go through all of these and you know for with it icon spacing if you want to close up the spacing here a lot of things but since richie has done a good job here and we love what we see we might as well just leave it at this secondly is if you notice there is a picture background here and you may want to change that as well all you have to do is right click on any of the canva and it will show to you edit then you can see the edit banner that's simply how to edit all of these so i click on edit banner and then it's going to pop up on my tool side just as you can see it's saying change this image so for me to change this image if i click on it it will entail that i upload new photos that i want to use other unless i have one already i have one uploaded here because of this tutorial and as you can see it here all i have to do is click on insert media and it's going to change the background media to the new one i inserted as simple as that this should just be something that merits up with your brand okay and then i move down a bit you can see this is saying what drives me if you have anything to put here you can do the editing just like we did you click on the pencil button and then it will change you click on the bot pencil button you can change you can also change font let me show you how that is done if i click on this edit button and then the font in here is good let's say i have written this and then i want to change this font all i have to do now is go to style you can see style here if i click on style it's going to open up alignment text color topography and text shadow where we added is topography if i click on the edit button the short pencil and then you can see all of these the family font size weight transform and all for example now the font for this particular side is default so if i change that i can change it to anything i want for example if i click on tauma you see it's changed to tahoma i can as well change it to acronym you see it has changed to acronym so depending on what you change you can change all of that inside topography and then the size as well this says 22 i can increase it you see that you can do anything and just play with it as you want based on your style and your design okay and then the weight as well this is on default you can make it so tiny which is 100 you can make it so big which is 900 you see it's thicker let me increase that font so that we can see it properly if i go back now and change it to 100 you see it's light and then if i go to 900 you see it's thick like bold yes and then you can use the default based on the settings here just you can play around it with line height line spacing all of these you can play around with it and then if at the end of the day you don't want a particular section and you want to just remove the structure altogether all you have to do if you look here when you over around the structure you're working on you can see the x button here just click on the x and it will remove that same section you see that that's removed so as much as you need a section edit as much as you don't delete that's how it works and then you go through all of this from beginning to the end i hope that's clear very beautiful but now let's go over as you can see there is an headline here all these are menu home about services projects and all 
you have to change this to what you want the logos and all and if you go as well to the footer it also has all of these here that you have to change so now let's go to footer and the header to change to change this go back to your home page when you get to your dashboard page go to appearance when you go to appearance you would see rishi theme click on rishi theme and it's going to pop up for you this way it will open and then from here you can now edit what we call site identity if i click on site identity now and it's going to open up for me where i can change everything that i need about the header and the footer and the beautiful thing is you see when i over around it with my mouse it will highlight blue you can see it the ones that are editable these ones that are not editable if i over around it it will not edit and it, as you can notice that the pictures and everything i changed there has not changed simply because i didn't publish it i have to go back now and then publish it's very important to publish all you do and if you look here, you can see update at the bottom left of this particular screen. I click on update so this can update this for me. And as you can see, it has moved away from green to ash to show it has fully updated. I go back now to where I was to refresh, reload, and boom, it has now confirmed the editing that I made earlier. Now to edit our header, it's very easy. If I over around, you can see this is saying I should edit my logo. If I click on this, it's going to pop up where I can change this logo. To change the logo, all you have to do as well is click on the edit button and then it will tell you to add your logo. If you have a logo before, beautiful, I have one here. All I have to do is click on it and click on select. And from there, it's going to change and edit to my logo and just as you notice that the logo here is not changing the logo here the reason for that is there is a main logo and if you scroll down there is a transparent state logo this is transparent this particular form is transparent and even at that there is a sticky state logo if i scroll this down you can see this white thing that pops up there is another logo here so we have three different logos on this particular website so now i've changed the first one I go over to the second and I did it as well and change the second logo and then from there you would see it would change visibly now you can see that it had changed this particular logo but then this logo is big and I don't want it big so if I scroll down a bit you can see logo maximum width so I can reduce this and as I'm reducing it you can see it reducing which is uh, normal and fun and then I just let it go that way and the sticky if I scroll you can see the sticky is still there to change this as well I did this and then I go to my upload let me select upload simply because my logo here needs to be black background that's that's really important because the previous one is white then this has to be black because it's on a black background so let me select that and you notice it's on the white background so i selected the black and that's it but then you can notice it's bigger than expected so i have to reduce this size as well and that's okay very well now we are beginning to format our headlines then you can see here in the lower version of the screen the contacts here are here like email and the phone number this is it here the logo that we've just worked on is here and then on the right hand side you can see socials which is all of these facebook twitter linkedin and all and then the menu which is contact blog testimonials project services about us and home all of these we can edit to suit what we want for example to edit the top row all you have to do is click on the edit button here very simple and then you can see here email phone number so if I click the arrow button down, it will give me where I want the email to be because when I click this now, this has to be edited to your domain name. So in my case, so my email is admin at my and I put that there. Now you still have one other option. There is a link option here, mail to, then you have to add this same mail in this particular location and I copy and paste that in. Then you can see the phone number. In case you don't have a phone number to put, all you have to do, just turn off the I logo here and it will disappear from the menu. That's it. And then you can go over to your social side to edit. 
either way either you are clicking from this side or you are clicking from the lower end i just click on it and then it will open up all of the icons for me to see so if i have facebook i can use that anyone i don't have or i don't want to use i can simply just turn that off and then they will be turned off maybe it's only youtube i want or if i want youtube and facebook i'll leave them on but it's the same process for now to add links to them you scroll down a bit you see it says you can add links to your social media profiles here and then if i click on that it's going to open up where i'm going to impute the links to these social media pages so all you have to do is go to your facebook copy the link to it and paste it here and then you can do all of that to any of these icons that you want to use and then from there you can just simply go back or either click on publish as well and that will do the top edit now to edit the menu you can see edda here just click on edda so it will take us back to where we're coming from and then you can see menu one here if i click on edit of menu one it's going to open up for me where i can edit there are different types for example i'm on type one if i click on type two it can it's going to change it you see it's overing things around it if i click on type three it's also going to change that just as you can see and then same thing as type four different kinds of whatever you want you can use and then that's not all if you scroll down you can see the indicator the effect and everything and then if you go up a bit you can see where you can manage the real headlines for example now the menu we're using here is default you can see it here now you can choose to rename these either you want to use a primary if i click on primary it's going to change to the ones that are stored as primary and then you can now manage whatever one you've selected here just by clicking this if i click this now it's going to open me up to where i can navigate to my menu and if i scroll down a bit you can see this this menu is on footer select a menu to edit here you see it this is footer menu if i click on primary which is what i have interest in doing and i click on select then it's going to load and this loads really fast i must confess which is pretty fast and then you can see here all of these are what we had in our home page home about service project testimonials and then you can see all of them here so if any one of it is something you don't want maybe project you want to delete all you have to do is just click on it it will open up and then you can see remove you click on remove boom it removes it it's as simple as that anyone you don't want and when you do that i click on save on the bottom right hand and it will save that and if i go back to my home page now let's visit site for us to see it will be very visible that project is no longer there just like that okay so we continue with whatever we want and how we want it if you want to add more just here you can see most recent you can view all and then anyone you want to add to your menu you can add it from here and this is how you change your menu now if you want to add a new menu you can see it here it says create a new menu you can add as many menus as you want depending on what you want to use it for now it may interest you to know that these things we are adding here are pages and categories so if you have a page maybe you have it in mind you can create a page you can create a category and then they will appear here when you click on view all just as you can see you see all pages here you see all posts here you can add anything you can add all posts you can add custom links if you want to create that you can add categories if you create categories and how do you add it for example if i'm adding a category here on enterprise all i have to do is click on it and i hit on add to menu and that will add enterprise to it just like this you see it here on the category then if i have to delete just like that i can remove you can move it up or down just by moving one up just like that so it's pretty easy and self-explanatory and at every time you finish that just hit on save menu now we have Two more things to do because now i can scroll over to the footer of my website here i also want to edit my website you can see here my copyright is already reading my name but it says powered by rishi so you can edit this as well if i click on that it's going to open up for me and then you see it says powered by theme auto so to remove this is easy you can just do it this way and then you remove and as soon as i remove it clears it off and also you can see that you can as well edit your footer the footer menu is here below if i click on edit now which is the edit button 
you can see it's going to open up all the footer icons and everywhere then to choose footer you see default is on default i can click on that and choose footer menu now you can choose anyone you like because there are some other options like quick links and services and all but then footer menu is my choice for today and then you can manage the menus by clicking on menu screen so that you can do the exact thing we did for the menu at the header we can also do it for the footer if i scroll here you see this is still on primary you can change it to footer menu since that's what we want to work on and then you click on select so that it will change this to footer menu and then you can see privacy policy time of use and all you can add more to it maybe about us you can add that just add the necessary things in your footer and save as menu as soon as you do that it's going to save up and that's it you have edited your footer and as you can see here i'm finding it difficult to really see what i'm doing you can hide all these panel or This is our base footer that we have edited, but then And just like that, you would have edited your footer. Now, there are still some other pages that need to be edited as well. I told us that before. Now, let's go back to our home page. And then you can change the image if you scroll down there is a for your clients to contact you but then you still have to edit some of these get in touch drop a line contact us and then just edit all of this and fill it that's pretty much what you have to do close it just click on Put your Instagram handle here. You can edit images. Just the same process of clicking and editing. Okay, I think that's pretty much clear. And then you can do the same to your blog. Give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. And as soon as you finish the design of your website, you can send it to me on the comment section as well to take a look at it. that's for us to check on mobile responsiveness for example if you go here now on the bottom left hand corner of my screen you can see all of these little little tiny this shows this desktop settings this shows the tablet settings if i click on that now this is how your website is going to look on tablet and then you can scroll down to see as many things as you've done you can also